you. Bring it in now. Oh, it's okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. About lost your iPad. Let me go get you in your buckles. about to lose a sock story of your life huh yeah you see you noticed the camera but your brother didn't you're more attentive he's worried about his iPad yeah all right buddy right. that time lapse of the sunrise uh well hello everyone happy uh 2022 uh we're sitting here on uh february 18th 2022 and i am first of all i'm trying to see if there's any cars coming the sun is brutal right now um yeah i didn't realize um until one of my one of my buddies mentioned to me brought it up that I have not put out a vlog in the year 2022 which is crazy considering it's February 18th I mean we're already a month and a half into this uh, on this annual trip around the Sun so um, I started vlogging in January of 2016 I think that's when vlog number one was which was just absolutely horrible um, Wow can't believe it's been that long ago um, but uh, I think that January of 2022, last month, I think that is the only month in the history of my vlogging career that I did not at least put one vlog out. Uh, it was always something that I was, you know, kind of proud of is to um, hold myself accountable and make myself document at least one day in a month for however many years it's been since 2016 at this point. But uh, man, I failed. 2022 has just been wild. It's been crazy. Uh, you hear Ford back there. He is now an 11 month old. He turns one less than a week from today. So um, I cannot believe that it's gone by this fast. And then of course his older brother Bodie is two and will turn three at the end of May. So basically I have a one and a two year old. So it probably will um, just kind of speaks for itself as far as why I haven't been, you know, pumping out vlogs like I used to whenever things were so much different. Didn't have any kids and I was working from home, so. Uh-oh, what's wrong? What's wrong, buddy? Well, can you tell me what's wrong? What's wrong, buddy? Kid's got an iPad and sometimes he has problems. He doesn't understand that you guys don't care. Um. I'm headed to work. Drop the boys off at childcare and then get to work. Taking off at noon today, so got a lot of errands to run, a lot of things to do. Um, not a real big day or nothing, just knocking the dust off these uh, these cameras. Google, play the sports animal. Streaming the sports animal from Odyssey. And I'm not talking about 17 and 12 every game from Rowing or 22 points an hour. Sports animal. Sports animal. Sports animal. 
Best basketball player of all time. Best professional running back of all time. Best professional wide receiver of all time. My favorite professional quarterback of all time. I'm an OU fan. Gotta support Baker and Kyler. With it being Friday, we're obviously going into the weekend. Don't really have any real huge plans this weekend. Other than <clears throat> my buddy Joseph, who pretty much grew up with, um, and he was the drummer back in a rock band that I used to play in back in the day, like back in that very end of my college days into a couple, two or three years of my, I don't know, what do you call them? Your young adult, your professional days where you get your first like big boy job and you're figuring life out and all that but yeah so for a good four or five years we had a rock band and we wrote a total through the span we wrote a total of nine original songs and we got three or four of them professionally recorded we went to you know a music studio and we recorded them and I wish we would have we've always said we should have recorded every single original song we wrote but we didn't um, costs money to do that. You know, you're back in college then. You're just starting your, you know, careers. You don't have a lot of extra money and things like that at that point. And so we never did get them all recorded. So long story short, we are currently working on tracking and recording, mixing and mastering uh, all nine songs. And then we're going to do one of them acoustic to make a total of 10 tracks. And I believe we are going to seriously make an effort to get them on Spotify. So now do remember that they are going to be, you know, self-produced and recorded. They're not going to be an amazing, amazing studio quality, but I think we might surprise some people on how good of a job, you know, that we do. Shout out to my, uh, shout out to our bassist of the second version of the band, Nate Adams. Uh, pretty handy behind the computer with the editing and all that on, you know, mixing and mastering audio. I know quite a bit myself, but not near as much as Nate. Um, so yeah, anyways, Joseph is actually coming down tonight and tomorrow and we're going to track his drums. He's got an electric drum kit and uh, been messing with some software and things like that. We're gonna see how good we can get the drums to sound. And uh, But yeah, as far as the weekend goes, it's about all I got on my plate right now. I'll be right back with you. Gotta run in the post office real quick. So I can't even remember where I was. Basically, we're gonna do some recording this weekend and uh, yeah, it's just been a lot going on, uh, obviously, since I haven't vlogged, I think since uh, Christmas. Um, got some plumbing stuff going on, having to deal with insurance, adjuster, all that fun stuff uh, today and this weekend. Also, a big, huge milestone from this video. Not that it's vlog number 329 or whatever it is, but guys, this is, this is crazy. This video right here, when I upload it on my YouTube channel, it was in fact the 1,000th, 1,000th, one thousandth, not 100, the 1,000th video that I have uploaded to this YouTube channel. I started this YouTube channel like in, oh man, was it 20, was it 20, I think it was 2012 I started it. I'd have to scroll back to my very, 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 very first video. It was 2010, 2012-ish, and uh, you know, I can honestly say I, I thought I would be a little bit further along in the subscriber count by now. Um, I mean, I'm very thankful that I have at this point 56,000 subscribers, but my big main goal on this channel is to get to $100,000. I'll take $100,000. If anybody wants to give me $100,000, I obviously meant a hundred. A hundred thousand subscribers, obviously, is what I meant. Um, that's just my goal. You get a little YouTube plaque and all this and that, and I just think it's pretty cool. I'd really like to get there. So I'm a little over halfway there, and the channel has slowed down so much. Not getting near the volume of subscribers as I used to. 
Um, a lot of that's because I realized that the majority of the success on this channel is because of my my drone tutorials, my drone videos. When I started doing those, that was supposed to be a subscriber count going up. But uh, yeah, and so I still put out a lot of drone videos. I fly the drone a lot. This channel has a lot to do with drones and a lot of success thanks to drones. So um, if you're one of those people that stumbled upon my channel because you you know saw my drone tutorials and then you said, hey, what the heck, I watch this guy's silly vlogs. Um, I appreciate that. So I, I put a lot of mixed content on this channel, drones, vlogs, which are vlogs I just consider digital journals. They're little mini documentaries of what I do throughout the course of a day, mainly intended for my own personal nostalgia to watch back at some point or have some of my kids, grandkids, if they want to watch them, see what life was like, you know, back in, back in my time. So, uh, I don't know, just so much going on, so crazy. And like I said, there's not really a point to this vlog and I have done entirely too much of this. So without any further ado, let's get back to some B-roll to some more entertaining things. I'm gonna go, uh, right now I'm gonna go get me some lunch and uh, my favorite, you know, local past barbecue restaurant set up. Um, they got a little food truck now. Business burnt down years ago. So I'm always excited when they set up. I'm gonna go get me some delicious barbecue. And then after that, gotta get home, take care of some errands. Um, and uh, just do the dang things. No wind and it is 39 degrees. It's warmed up. It was like in the teens this morning. So may have to go airbound with the drone as well. All right, I promise. <laughs> Joe's here. We gotta we gotta get his uh, electric drum set up. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. Question is, does he have shoes on? Oh, he now. does for now. What's going on, Joe? Man, it's been a while. It has been a while, dude. It's been a long while. Oh man. Well, here we go. See what happens. Package it up just like the old <laughs> IKEA style. Just chunk it in there. <laughs> That's how we do it, folks. That's how we did it back in the day. So, Joseph, you really, you're representing that FTF shirt popping. That's right, it's been in there for like 12 years. <laughs> Crazy. It smells a little musty, but you know. You didn't even wash it, Joe? I mean, I didn't even know I had it until this morning. Oh my gosh, it's hilarious. <laughs> situation is now is we got Joe's electric set up but we're having problems with this bad boy right here crash number two Joseph's trying to figure out the um, oh I don't know what I'm trying to say the technology aspect of it <laughs> Okay, well, it is now 11.45 p.m. Joseph just left. We spent, oh, a good, how long? Two and a half, three hours, basically just setting up his drums and um, getting them to talk to the software that he purchased um, that runs like into a computer to where he can record really high quality, realistic sounding drums, as opposed to like the little stock sounds you get out of this little bad boy on his electric set. I mean, we could have made it work, but in the in the songs, you would have been able to kind of tell, like if it was coming from this little module here, like 
yeah, those are kind of like, you know, cheesy sounding, you know, um, drum sounds. To where with this software, it runs from the electric drum kit actually to some software on a computer and it uses samples of like highly um, professionally recorded actual real drums. And so you get the point. It's gonna sound a lot more realistic. So um, at this point now, we have myself here in a small town in Southwest Oklahoma to track the rhythm guitar. And then what we're doing is we're sharing all of our files when we record them on a computer, like on a cloud type storage thing on Google Drive. And then um, Joseph's in Edmond and he'll actually track his drums. And then from there, our bass guitar player, he is in Dallas, he'll download the files and drop the bass. Then from there, our lead guitarist is clear up in New Hampshire um, you know, he's like an Eskimo. It's all cold up there. He's having problems with his pipes freezing and all kinds of crazy stuff. But then he'll, he'll drop the lead guitar and then clear back here in Norman, Oklahoma, the front man himself, the celeb, the one everybody knows and the one that everybody thinks of when they hear for the fallen Tyler, he'll do his thing and, you know, drop the vocals. So we're all just doing this for Tyler. We all just make this you know music and everything so tyler can have fun and sing so t core darden we got you man Th some things never change but anyways whew, did a lot of that in this one didn't i guys sorry about that um no it wasn't the greatest vlog i've ever done not the most entertaining but it's the first one in 2022 that i've done and it's the thousandth video on my youtube channel so appreciate you guys hanging in there and uh i gotta get some sleep i'm freaking tired and i'm not in my 20s like I was when we did this years and years ago. <sighs> Vlog number 329, if that's not right, I'll bleep it. Over. <laughs>